Today's subject is generating power with our forehand. Are you the type of player, you know, that can keep the ball in play all day long? But when you try to hit with power, you can't get any power or you make a mistake. Okay, there could be a couple of reasons why. One reason could be you're hitting the ball too close to your body. Okay, if you're, if you're hitting the ball in too tight, all right, your, your arm, number one, cannot swing freely. And number two, you're decreasing the radius, okay, of your swing. Okay, when it's in here, you've got a small radius. When you're out there, you've got a larger radius, a bigger radius. And the further away you can make contact with the ball, the more power you're going to have. The bigger the radius, the more power. So, the key is that you have to have at least, let's say, a hand's width from your trunk, okay? Right now, my outspread hand from my thumb to my pinky to my elbow, okay? That's about what you need, at least that. And you'll notice my arm is not totally out straight, but I've got a little bend but that's gonna allow me to swing freely, okay? You could even go a little further. If you wanna go you know, out further with, with your arm pretty much fully extended, Federer does that, so it works. Whereas Djokovic, Murray, they have a slight bend in the elbow. So both can work, that's not a problem. The other thing is you may be hitting with an isolated arm movement you know you're just basically arming the ball you know you're using your arm but you're not using your entire body body you're not realizing that power comes from the legs and the trunk in tennis that's where you're going to get your power you've got to get your whole body involved in the swing so when you do that in other words you turn you bring the racket back what you're doing is it's like you're coiling the body, okay? So when you see a ball to your forehand, you start to turn, you start to coil your body, all right? You're setting up. Now, as you start your forward swing, you're going to start to uncoil. And as you uncoil, it's going to start from the ground up, so the knee would uncoil, then the hips speed up, and then when the hips stop, the trunk starts to speed up in the shoulder and the hitting arm finally goes through with tremendous racket head speed. See, so you've got to learn to use your body a little bit like a whip. It's that principle of deceleration, acceleration. When you decelerate, when I decelerate the knee, the hips speed up. The hips speed up and then the trunk speeds up. When the hips stop, the trunk speeds up. When the trunk stops, the arm and the shoulder speed up. So that hitting arm can become like a whip. So work on those two tip, two points rather. Um, you know, you could be too close or you're not using your entire body to hit the ball. You, your whole body has to be involved in that swing. Okay, here you can get a good look in slow motion. Here I'm coiling the body, now uncoiling, and boom, just before contact, you can see my arm is almost fully extended there. So I've got a nice radius on that swing. Now that's not always the case. On this next one here, you're going to see I get a little bit jammed, so I'm trying to create some space as I move away from the ball there and now when you see contact here see my elbow is slightly bent my arm my elbow is a little closer to the body but I still have good enough distance to swing freely and then on this last one here you're going to see um, I get some good space again but See, when I see the ball, I'm turning. I'm getting those shoulders turned. That way I can uncoil into the shot. 
Okay, I've got good space here at contact. The arm again is close to fully extended. And now the, uh, the, sh the arm and the hitting shoulder are really unwinding into that shot. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tip. Use it to help you generate more power. Remember, not too close to the ball. Give yourself some room to swing freely and use your entire body to hit the ball. For my entire uh, forehand course, please go to the uh, description box below. Rock solid forehand. It'll help you really develop not only power, but the control that you need. All the best. Take care.